Right now, though, celebrity sleaze. You know, I was looking at all the stories coming out of Lollapalooza. Made me miss all those years we went in Atlanta. Do you have any fond memories of Lollapalooza? Uh, sweating. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw Paris Jackson at Lollapalooza singing uh, Even Flow. I thought that was pretty cool this year. Yeah, Lana Del Rey said, you, you know when Lollapalooza is over is when they, you know, kick me off the stage. Everyone had a blast. Billie Eilish wore a vintage Michael Jordan jersey on stage. I don't know if you saw that or not. A lot of characters. Matt Healy, of course. They, sh- they showed him drinking and smoking. and But this was the one that I thought was kind of shocking because I guess he revealed his new look last week. But jumping on stage, Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit shocking fans with his new look. It's kind of a shaggy, silver gray hair. Have you seen it? I have. And serious question. How does he get on the bill at Lollapalooza? Does that... <laughs> I no, no, I mean, I'm being serious. Does that mean that he's gaining cred back? Because he got kind of flushed a little bit. Yeah, I was actually kind of curious about that. And, you know, maybe it's this big comeback. Who knows? But he does have a new look, and he doesn't even look like the same person. He's had quite the interesting up and down yeah. brand rando career. Let's keep the music thing going. Carrie Underwood opening for Guns N' Roses. They have such a mutual respect for each other. Axl Rose and Carrie Underwood. Uh, Saturday they were in Canada. She added uh, several rock songs to her set. Here she is letting loose on Motorhead's Ace of Spades. This isn't the best audio, but it does showcase something that I'm curious about. Is she done with country? No. Carrie's always had this rock thing going. I don't know if you ever knew this, but we did a crossroads with Carrie at uh, the Super Bowl years ago with Steven Tyler. She loves rock music. You know, she works out to it. That's what I'm saying. I think about her voice compared to, like, people like Heart, you know, like those bands that had that powerful growl. I mean, listen to her nail it on Motorhead. Damn, you go, girl. I mean, she kills it. It, She's unreal. She's unbelievable. She can do anything. Uh, Speaking of Motorhead, the celebration of Motorhead's front man, Lemmy, in Germany, included the enshrinement of his ashes at Lemmy's Bar. You know, he passed away in 2015. Rest in peace. Man, there's a... There's a phrase. I'm sorry, rest in peace. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt the rest in peace. I didn't know that was coming. But what you said is a phrase you don't hear that often. Speaking of Motorhead, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. You don't ever hear those two together. Yeah, and we just talked about them for the last five minutes. Uh, Right. Which, her doing the song is impressive enough. Exactly. Um, Ed Sheeran paused a show in Kansas City over the weekend to surprise a couple of fans with a gender reveal for their upcoming baby. They handed him an envelope and he opened it up. And you go, Ed Sheeran. Listen to this. It's a girl. Can I just say, as a father of two daughters, it's very awesome. Very awesome. Fram, love Ed Sheeran, but seriously, at what point are you jumping the shark when you're pandering this much? Like, it's almost Well, I thought that was kind of cool. No, it is. I'm just saying it's so many cool stories about him. Mm -hmm. The the musical cred is there. Is it just that he's a nice guy and every news outlet picks up on every move he makes? He is actually really, like, normal when you meet him. He's super normal, and he wants to be normal. And I think that's kind of an anomaly for anybody, you know, that's a musician or a rock or pop star. But he actually is a really down-to-earth... Ask anyone in radio that's ever interviewed him. That's what I'm curious about, is that are these, like, marketing ploys, or is he just that nice of a guy? Yeah. Honestly, he's just that nice of a guy. Yeah, I've never met him, so I would love to. But, man, he seems really accessible and really open. Mm -hmm. You do see, like, four seven-foot security guards walking with him everywhere he goes, but he's out there. For 20 years now, a Canadian town had highway signs boasting about being the home of Nickelback, but now (laughs) they've removed them for being a safety risk. Too many people were stopping to take photographs of them. Telling you, this whole Nickelback revival... It's unbelievable. <laughs> the band everyone loves to hate, but loves. Well, over the weekend, um, I can't do this. There's a video of Chad Kroger halting a show due to absolutely destroying his throat. I cannot a good conscience stand up here and sing these songs and have my voice crack and everything sound like blank. And he went on and on. I'm having a really hard time hitting the notes. The doctor just jabbed me in the hip with some prednisone. But I cannot, in good conscience, stand up here and sing these blanking songs. And so, anyway, guess what? The show must go on, and he 
went through a 15 song set and decided, you know what, let's start this one over and I'm just going to give it all I've got. And he ran through the show. Because, you know, you do, see, you do see a lot of artists that kind of back out because they're just having a hard time. I saw it, and I thought at one point he was going to refund everybody because he seemed I really too. tortured over the way he was pacing. But then he kicked back in, and to be honest, his voice sounded bur- fine. I thought it sounded dead on. Because he does have that sort of raspy rock right. voice. Right. So you just thought that was him, yeah. Yeah, it didn't sound crazy to me. Remember the band uh, Lost Prophets? I- I- Irish or Scottish? We played, uh, i trying to remember their biggest song. Maybe you can look that up. But Ian Watkins, the former singer who is a, was it into a decade of serving a 29-year sentence for child sex offenses, was stabbed in prison on Saturday. Sky News reported Watkins sustained several non-threatening life injuries after being taken hostage by three other inmates. He was freed by guards six hours later. This is in West Yorkshire. High security prison where he is being held. Yeah, you look at his mugshot currently, because I just Googled it, versus like his um, rock pictures, you know, like his glossy pics. You want to talk about a crazy ass transition. Are you thinking of the song Last Train Home? That was the one we played. Yeah, that was, I think that was their biggest hit, right? Lost Profits? Yeah, I don't remember it. We were talking about um, Graceland earlier. Graceland officially has a new owner after the death of Lisa Marie Presley. Ooh. Yeah. Riley Keough, Lisa's daughter. Oh, yeah, but isn't she getting fought over it? Named as the sole trustee of her estate, which includes the property in Memphis. No, it's done. Approved by hearing on August the 4th on Friday. But I thought Priscilla was grinding back at it. She was, but not anymore. It took so long to name the trustee of Lisa Marie's estate because Priscilla had filed a petition. But now she is. It's been amended. Speaking of Elvis, did you see this on TMZ? If you want to buy his old revolver, his Smith & Wesson Model 53, there's a photo of it on TMZ. Wow. It's got like all these gold accents. People are saying that this could go anywhere from sixty to ninety thousand dollars. If you want to, you know, if you want to own Elvis's Smith and Wesson, Wait, where did that just pop up from? It's on TMZ. Oh, someone already had it and they're reselling it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's going up for sale. It was gotcha. gifted to Elvis in 1976, just nine months before he died. A lot of TVs went to the junkyard from that gun. Unbelievable. I don't know if you saw this from over the weekend. Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling don't let their daughters use the internet or social media because, quote unquote, it's too dangerous. Eva Mendez says it's the same category as drinking, getting a driver's license, and voting. Yeah, these days I would agree. Yeah. And um, guess what just hit the billion dollar mark at the box office? I know that's an easy guess. Barbie. Mm hmm. It's making uh, Greta Gerwig the first female director to hit this milestone. She was also surprised by Ryan Gosling with a flash mob of Ken's and Barbies for her 40th birthday. Good for you, Greta Gerwig and Barbie. You seen it yet, Barnes? Have you gone yet? Nope, I refuse. <laughs> I just can't do it. Barnes, it's in the billion dollar club. Sorry. Barnes, that's your celebrity sleaze. Good morning, X. With Barnes and Leslie. Thank you.